shocking pictures have emerged which point out to gross human rights violations by the Sri Lankans uh, during the final stages of the operation against the Tamil rebels. Now, these pictures seem to indicate that LTTE chief Prabhakaran's 12-year-old son was summarily executed in custody. The series of photographs were taken a few hours apart and with the same camera. It shows Balachandran Prabhakaran, son of Velupillai Prabhakaran, sitting in a bunker alive and unharmed. Another, a few hours later, shows the boy's body lying on the ground with his chest pierced by bullets. The images were taken in May 2009 at the very end of the Sri Lankan government's operation to crush the LTTE. Sri Lankan authorities claim that Prabhakaran's son was killed in crossfire, but these pictures clearly disputing those claims. Priyamvada correspondent is now joining us with more details from Chennai. Priyamvada, clearly these pictures uh, punch holes in the claims of the Sri Lankan army that the 12-year-old son of Prabhakaran died in cross-firing. Absolutely, and this comes at a time when the U.S. is planning to move one more resolution against uh, Sri Lanka for war crimes in the United Nations, for which even the Britain has promised to support the U.S. Remember, in the previous uh, resolution, India was forced uh, to support the U.S. resolution against the Sri Lankan government. So as the evidences against the Sri Lankan government is mounting, it's probably now uh, time, uh, in a way, I would say, uh, what the experts say is the Sri Lankan government is being caught up. They are being forced to give an answer because these evidences are likely to be screened uh, to the UN officials at a conference in Geneva that's going to happen in March. And it's also, so that could also have an implication as to the decision that will be taken after the resolution. What is going, will there, will the Sri Lankan government be tried for the war crimes because now the international pressure is growing. All the countries are backing the resolution. Most of the countries are backing the resolution. So definitely now the Sri Lankan government, which had been all along denying war crimes, should now probably be in a, right. uh, should be answering to these mm -hmm. evidences that are emerging.